Hello and welcome back to Space Ancient Days. In today's video, we're looking at another small fighter. And this one is called the GE Painbow, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small compact fighter that features a lovely colour gradient that goes from a dark colour at the back to a very light yellow at the front. We've got all three types of thrusters as well as some Gatling guns to blast your enemies with. Pressing F10 and finding this in the spawn menu. The GE Painbow is 450 small blocks requiring the Warfare 2 and Sparks of the Future DLC packs, wherever that's gone, there it is. Got a little bit of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, which is very useful, there it is, it's now popped in, where it says it flies like a helicopter on a planet where you need to have to nose down holding space in order to boost yourself around. So we'll test that out a bit later. So go give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a good look around the outside, don't fly around for a bit, fly around on a planet, then just maybe slam it into the ground. So at the very front, this is what we get. So front and centre, what we can see is our fighter cockpit to drive this thing around. Surrounding that, we've got some white, black, and then multicoloured blocks that go around the entire ship. We can also see a bunch of Gatling guns, which I will warn you, they am still using the rendering improved mod, despite it having multiple patches to fix a lot of the blinding lights, firing those Gatling guns is going to be... Well, an extraordinary experience. We'll experience that a bit later. We can also see two ion thrusters help us out in space. And as we were to move around onto the side, this is all we can see. So there's some more Gatling guns just next to our cockpit. Then even more ion thrusters to help us on our left and right. We can also see how the steel blocks have been positioned so they can protect that ion thruster at the back there from any kind of stray shots coming towards it. And of course to cover up the edges of that Gatling gun. Round onto the side, that is what that looks like. Then continue around towards the very back, and this is what's going to push us around. So we've got one large hydrogen thruster and two large ion thrusters, which should give us some nice speed. We can also see some nice use of our neon tubes once they turn off the engineer's flashlight, just in the red colouring above our hydrogen thruster. Then moving all the way up and looking down, there's another ion thruster to help move us down in space. There's the atmospheric thruster to move us around on a planet. And we see the lovely colour gradient on the back in the purple colour, towards the front in the yellow. There we go. Dropping down and coming underneath this thing, this is all we can see. There's a magnetic plate to lock ourselves down on. There's a connector to dock this thing up, refuel it with ammunition and anything else you need. There's the bottom of our atmospheric thruster. It's been housed very nicely, so it should be nice and protected. And there is another ion thruster to move us up in space. And there we go, that is that. The DGE Painbow is a lovely small fighter. It's got everything you need. And I'm always a sucker for a small compact fighter because they're always handy in survival mode. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, come into first person view. So this is all we can see. We do have a little bit of blockage on the side there due to those steel blocks. But it's not too bad at the end of the day. Just moving away from that sun. There we go. Bring up the hub. Tab number one. These are the controls we get. So pressing number one. Now this is going to have to be zoomed away a little bit. But firing that... There we go, you can see how it's flashing thanks to the rendering improved mod. I won't fire this in first person view and I won't get any closer to it because it is rather bad for the flashing. Number two is going to be for our hydrogen tanks to stockpile on and off. Number three is for our batteries to auto or recharge. Number four is for our ion thrusters at the front to put us into a cruise control. So simply turn off those ones facing forwards. There we go. Number five and number six is for our hydrogen thruster at the back for a thruster override to push us around without us doing anything. Number seven is going to be to turn on and off our ion thrusters at the top and the bottom of the ship. She's coming all the way down and pressing that, and then switch off, just in case you don't need it for whatever reasons. Number eight is to simply turn on and off our singular atmospheric thruster. So we can turn it on, it'll start rotating, and then we'll turn it off. And there we go with the controls. So what we'll do now is just boost around in space, now go down to a planet and test out and how that handles. This ship does rely on the ion thrusters on a planet, so I'm not expecting it to be able to stop in time without actually flying it properly like a helicopter. But anyway, moving forwards, this is what we get. We've got a lovely glow coming off those thrusters and the back there, thanks to the rendering approved mod. But as you can see, we've got some nice speed moving forwards. Coming to a stop, we're not too bad. Really doesn't feel like I should do in 180 to stop this thing a bit quicker, because it seems to stop in a reasonable amount of time. Moving left, that is what we get. And then moving right should be the exact same. So not as fast as moving forwards and backwards, but still pretty respectable. Moving up. Then moving down, there we go. Moving down feels the slowest out of absolutely everything. And that's to be expected because it's a small iron thruster versus large ones. 
Then wiggling the mouse around, this is what we get for controls. It's a very heavy ship. It feels like a frigate, so you may want to slap on another gyroscope if you want to have a more responsive control. And here we go on a planet. So as you can see, we are very slow coming to a stop. It's just simply gliding around, because it is relying on those iron thrusters to stop us. So it's going to take quite some time, unless I tilt the ship backwards. But moving forwards, we're going to get a lot of speed, thanks to that hydrogen thruster at the back. And we can always turn that tank to stockpile to turn it off if we don't need it. And then we are completely reliant on our iron thrusters to move forwards and backwards, unless we start tilting it like a helicopter to utilize that atmospheric thruster. But that's only if you want to. So we're just going to do that right now. I'll just go and tilt backwards. There we go. Hope I don't come crashing down to the planet. Then we come forwards. And there we go. They're just tilting forwards and pressing the spacebar. And away we go. We now tilt forwards. That should be good enough. So there we go. That's pretty much it for the GE Painbow. It's a lovely little ship if you are looking for a small compact fighter in your world. It does have a rather interesting thrusters setup, especially while on a planet. Might take a little bit to get used to, especially if you're conscious about using your hydrogen thruster. But then again, there are scripts to help out with that, such as the helicopter script I showcased earlier. So there'll be a link to the ship in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.